Hey guys, welcome to day 322 of playing through Persona 4 Golden in real time. Now, we're still in that one month gap, so in the meantime, we're continuing to play through Persona 4 Dancing All Night. Now, let's go ahead and begin Chapter 3. Proceed. A little while after we split from Senpai and the others, I noticed our surroundings began to change. What is this? It's like an amusement park with some sort of theme to it. It reminds me of the stage that was prepared for me when I got pulled into this world. It's a little unsettling. Okay, this one is a bit weird. I mean, Whoa. compared to the other ones. What is this place? Even compared to the other ones, it's I mean. And a cute. Like from a fairy tale or something. Don't let your guard down, Kanji kun. There's no telling when the enemy will attack. Yeah, I know. <sighs> <sighs> Everything okay with you two? You're awfully quiet. Are you not feeling well? Aw, now Chan, you're all lonely because you're not with Sensei, huh? Where'd Teddy get that outfit Teddy from? will stay at your side forever and ever. That's not the case. Yeah, same here. Wait, did you just ignore me, Ted? What the hell did you put that on? Okay, Kaji's asking the important questions. Oh, I get it. Come on, Kaji. Now Tokun, we want. Come on, Kaji. Now Tokun, we want to prove to our senpai that we can handle things in our own right. Aside from that, though, I didn't notice that Teddy put his fur back on until Kanji mentioned it. Wait, what's with that outfit? A white jumpsuit, a gaudy belt, and... What do they call those dangly things? Oh yeah, fringes hanging off his sleeves. And on top of that, he's got... <coughs> Excuse me? Okay, backlog. He's got Kuma printed across his chest in glitzy gold letters. That's definitely not the costume Inua saw and prepared for him. We didn't have any plans for the bear suit at all. He probably made that himself. Not that I'm going to let him wear that on stage. Oh, I see. When Yosuke's not around, Kanji keeps us in check. <laughs> Does that mean Kanji's checking me out right now? Is my innocence in danger? No, I'm I think you're not. safe, Teddy. Enough of that crap. It's getting real old, damn it. Come on. How long are you two going to mess around? It just never stops with you. Well, I wouldn't call it loneliness, precisely, but it does feel awkward without Senpai. Precarious, if you will. Yeah, no kidding. We said all that earlier, Glad but to know it's because of them that we're all together in the first place. It just doesn't feel right, not here in the usual kanji, or calm down. This is a very hmm. serious situation indeed. Without Sensei to protect me, I'll be bombarded from all sides with harsh criticism. Dude, just don't stir up any shit. All right, that's enough. Come on, guys, we need to keep our spirits up. Did you forget what we discussed? That we wanted to grow into a team our senpai would be proud of? You senpai's not with us, which makes this a perfect opportunity. Let's work together and impress everyone. I put a lot of energy into my words, trying to rally the downcast too. If we're going to fight by dancing, we can't go moping around. It'll affect our performance for sure. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried, but you have to be positive or you're just setting yourself up to fail. Risei-san is right. This is well within our power. Yeah, Naoto-kun, totally! Although, our team could be better coordinated if we had a decision maker. I suggest we come to a consensus on who should assume that role. You mean choose a leader? I'm fine either way. A substitute sensei, huh? Okay! I nominate myself! Go team! Teddy wants you! Yahoo! Well, in a matter of speaking, to be clear, I'm declining the position. I tend to prefer the role of advisor. <laughs> Sounds like Teddy wins by default! But, hey, hold it! There's no friggin' way that's That's the only way Teddy would win. Wanna do it then, Kanji? Huh? Well, if that's what you guys want, I guess I can give it a shot. What? At two, Kanji! <laughs> My empire was destroyed in a day! What empire? You ain't the leader yet. Great. Kanji and Teddy are arguing over nothing again. It's nice that they get along, but we've got more important stuff to do. I don't care who! Just hurry up and decide! Ugh, you're both acting like kids. I mean, we all are That's high it, schoolers. Ted. You asked for it. You and me, right now, dance battle. I'm gonna crush you! Challenge accepted! Prepare yourself for the ultimate in bear rank dancing! Just then, I sense something change in the atmosphere. Instantly, I'm on my toes. Now Tokun notices it too. She warns Kanji and Teddy, interrupting their argument. I felt something. <laughs> you sure are funny. Welcome to 
welcome to the Midnight Stage, featuring Sumomo Ujima. There you are! Wait, Sumomo's up ahead? That's what I said. It's almost time for the performance. She will shine forever on the Midnight Stage, as the Sumomo everybody wants. Sumomo is a lucky girl. She gets to join us and share our bond. I already heard about you, but damn, you're one grade-A dumbass! You kidnapped her and you're saying she's lucky? You got a beatdown coming, punk, so get your ass over here! I'm glad to see you're full of energy. But let me remind you of one important thing. Huh? The hell are you talking about? Kanji-kun, in this world, no one hurts or gets hurt. I already confirmed that rule for myself. To physically assault someone here would be impossible. Stupid rules. Wait, what is now to make you test it? You can say goodbye to all your pain and suffering and connect with everyone. <laughs> Sumomo will be so happy. Look how many have gathered just for her. Alright, I feel a dance battle coming on. All of a sudden, something like black mist flows out from the darkness around us and solidifies into countless shadows. They're all connected by ribbons, just like the ones we saw when we were pulled into this world yesterday. Ah! Shadow alert! Shadow alert! Hmm? We really are tied together by those weird ribbony thingies. <laughs> You'll understand soon enough. Come on, just connect with us. The song. Oh, the hell is this? I don't feel so good. Again, just like yesterday, as the eerie song gets louder and the shadows dance, I start feeling drained, like my will's getting weaker and weaker. This isn't good. I pull myself together and look around to see if the guys are okay. Be careful. If you're caught in those ribbons, they'll start affecting your mind. Hang in there, everyone! Don't let them get the upper hand! Their so-called bond is a joke! We need to make them realize that! <laughs> I hear ya. Why should I be all buddy-buddy with them when I'm only getting tied down? Hey, Rise, give me my homework song. I'll show them what's up. Huh? You're going to dance? I was kind of surprised. I mean, it's not that I don't trust Kanji, but I never thought you'd be so hyped about it. Wow, Kanji, you can be really reliable sometimes. What? That's no fair. This is where I'm supposed to step in. Watch and learn, Ted. You're about to see Kanji Tatsumi bring down the house with a man's dance. Well, you're not gonna hold anything back, as if you ever did. It might actually be perfect for the first round. Okay, I'll play your song, so you better give it everything you got. Damn straight. All right then, hit it. Okay, I am interested to see how well Kanji can dance. Let's get it started now. I'll show you how a man does this. Don't worry, just handle this like you usually do, and you'll succeed. Oh, I totally pressed it.
Okay. I mean, I felt like I was doing pretty well at the beginning, like, you know, feeling it, but unfortunately, there are a few notes that I hate, and it just kind of, like, didn't get the input at all, but hopefully that's time. <coughs> hopefully that's not a common thing that keeps happening. But you know, did pretty well overall, regardless. Kanji stance brings the shadows through their senses. They fade into sparkling light, going back to wherever they came from. As I watch the spectacle, I'm somehow more convinced that the shadows here were bound to this place by that weird song. Damn, this is awesome! Hmm. Oh, but you were quite impressive yourself, Kanji. Oh yeah, it was also nice to see really? Kanji and Naoto yeah, actually yeah. dance together. You kind of freestyled a bit here and there, but it was very you. I have to say, that was an amazing performance. Not bad, Kanji. Y you think so? I mean, of course. <laughs> What'd you expect from me, huh? <laughs> well done. The shadows were going wild to see you dance. Kanji's face goes bright red from all the compliments. Hehe, <laughs> silly Kanji. I was genuinely impressed, though. His moves felt totally natural compared to how he was during practices. Still kind of rough, but not bad at all. Then, as if he remembers something, Kanji suddenly poker faces. Hey, this still kind of bothers me, but how does dancing work on the shadows? Kanji-kun? To justify the gameplay of the game! Why? Well, of course I understand! You know, it's all that, uh, stuff, right? Like, like, like Risei said. Dancing ain't about thinking too much, but more like, uh, letting yourself out? Yeah? Our guess was that in this world, it's somehow easier to convey your feelings to others, whether humans or shadows. That's why our dances can influence our audience so much. As proof, my senses are way sharper than usual, and even in this big world, I can easily tell where Senpai is. Of course, I'd get a better reading if I called my persona, but it was kind of incredible how I could do that and communicate with others all on my own. I could even broadcast our songs to all those shadows at once. My persona provides backup by connecting my mind to the others, so it must be especially affected by this world. Well, can't complain since it's helping us deal with this situation. But besides that, what Kanji said caught me completely off guard. You remember what I told him before? You were actually listening? I'm kind of surprised, Kanji. Well, what I'm trying to say is, I did put my feelings into it. You know, like saying, this is who I am. But the fact that the shadows actually got that? I don't know, man. Shit's weird. I mean, how's that possible? 
You do have a point. No matter how strongly we try to express something, it's useless if our audience is incapable of understanding it. Which may mean these shadows have emotions just like us and recognize ours as well. I bet those shadows didn't get it at first. They were just dancing to that creepy song, feeling okay about it because they were doing it in a big crowd. But then they saw Kanji getting down and they were like, ooh, that guy's got the groove. Forget this, I'm going over there. I see. I mean, yeah, at least well Teddy's be being supportive. Case closed. I'm not sure I get what Teddy's trying to say, so shadows can understand and accept what we express through dance? Then there's no problem. In any case, we got our message across. Doesn't that make you feel good? Being accepted by someone, people or shadows, it's the best feeling. As everyone nods, I feel a sudden relief we can def- oh, we can definitely move ahead as a team. We're not gonna lose to you, senpai. Okay, let's take a quick break and get going. That voice said Sumomo was up ahead. Yeah, I'm ready to beat the shit out of- Wait, we can't. Uh, dance some sense into those shadows! That's the way. Hey, you wanna just make her the leader? Yeah, we're totally outclassed. Huh? You guys say something? It's nothing, leader. Please, show us the way. Me, the leader? Oh well, let's go! Somehow, I ended up as the leader. With that settled, I guess we start walking down the path. Didn't Kanji and Teddy both want to be the team leader? But those shadows, they look kind of different from the ones we fought before. I wonder why. Oh well, no time to worry about stuff like that. I've got some sweet ladies to rescue. Rawr! I'm coming for you right now, my precious idols! Following my heightened senses, we search the area for Samomo. I can't tell we're getting- oh, I can tell we're getting very close. As I'm thinking that, Teddy pauses in his sniffing and points ahead of us. Cutie ahoy! Could that be? That's Samomo! Hey, Samomo! Something seems off about her. I mean, is she just usually that pale? Jeez, I was the one worried. I'm so glad you're safe. Woohoohoo! It's the adorable piglet Momo-chan, right here in front of me! Yosuke and I haven't missed a single Kanamine Kitchen appearance on TV! But, eh, something's different. Okay, it's so it's not just me. Of speech. She sounds like a different person altogether than when I met her. Oh, right. Teddy's only seen Momo on TV. Now Tokun and Senpai met her in, per in person, but that was more of a business thing. I laughed dryly, attempting to explain the situation to the shocked Nato Kun and confused Teddy. I guess that is surprising, huh? Sumomo actually grew up deep in the country, so this is how she really is. She doesn't mind bugs at all, and she does a ton of farm work at home. She's a lot tougher than she looks. No way! Cute little Momo-chan, the sweetheart of teenage boys everywhere. It was all an act! Everything I mean, I know she is called herself a piglet and said she doesn't mind getting dirty. Too. I'm a detective. Huh? So what? Hmm. No big deal. Mizuchi Mizu done worked my tail off after all. I'm guessing you were hoping I'd be the sweet little sister type? The what now? You know, like an adorable little kid you just want to look after. Small and cute. But you can only go so far with that. I've been thinking maybe I ought to try doing something else. Even if it's a tiny bit at a time. Okay, very harsh. It was sudden, but there was no sign of anyone else around us, ear, or even approaching us. And yet, the voice rings out as if the speaker had been watching us the whole time. <laughs> Who do we have here? Sorry, but you're too late. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Sumomo can't get out of here, so why hurry? Sumomo. Do you want to leave this world? Do you really want to upset your fans? Uh, my fans? That's right. Everyone wants the you they know as a helpless, adorable little child. Wouldn't they feel so betrayed if they saw you now? Uh, I, but 
betrayed anyone. I've worked dang hard up till now. Yes, you clearly made down the road. But it's still not enough. You need to become the Simomo that everyone wishes for. Alright, I guess another dance battle's coming up. I suddenly pick up a reading right in front of us. Sure enough, a big mass of shadows appear out of nowhere. When the voice started talking about the fans, even I felt uneasy, even though it wasn't directed at me. It fazed me that much. That's a dirty trick, pressuring her like that. No way I'm letting them get to Momo. It's those out of character shadows trying to kidnap Momo-chan, huh? Let's say... I mean, we'll fight back. I don't... I mean, we can't cause harm. Let's go ahead and say you won't get her. Well, forget that. You know, focus we're on protecting Sonoma. <laughs> you ain't gonna have it your way as long as we're here. <laughs> you really are energetic. But you know nothing, so I suggest you keep your mouth shut. You have no idea just how much Sonoma is suffering. What are you talking about? You don't need to know. Connect with us, and everything will work out. No one will get hurt. No one will have to suffer. Now, accept our bond. The eerie song gets louder, and the shadows begin dancing. I can feel this urge to join them invading my thoughts. I won't lose. I fight back against the feeling and stand my ground. That's so, Teddy. I hold back the urge to laugh, but the smirk on my face isn't exactly idle-like. Okay, that's all yours. Gotcha! Teddy, I'm giving you the coolest tune I've got, so do your absolute best! Aye aye, Bisei chan Now drop that bridge! Alright, well, Show we're gonna time. save the song for next episode, let's focus and, and so... Get going. For now, that's going to wrap up the gameplay portion for today and bring us on to Shuffle Time. Alright, today's card is the Ace of Swords in the upright position. So let's go ahead and see what Fate has in store for us today. As with all the Aces, the Ace of Swords indicates that one is about to experience a moment of breakthrough. With the sharp blade and representing the power of the intellect, the sword has the ability to cut through deception and find truth. In layman's terms, this card represents that moment in which one can see the world from a new point of view, as a place that is filled with nothing but new possibilities. It is, therefore, the best time to work on your goals, as the aces all give green lights and are signals of waiting opportunities and new beginnings. It might also be a good time for you to seek justice and the, and tr and the truth in all matters since your conscience is clear and your thoughts are swift. If you rise to the occasion, your sharpness and clarity in thought will be rewarded. When we look at the swords closely and see its double edge, we also are reminded that the sword may be either used for noble deeds or to deal destruction. It all depends on the wielder, and is a warning too that excessive power holds the danger to corrupt. If you stick with principles, the sword will serve you well. Okay, you know, sounds like we're poised to position well to make some big change, start some new breakthroughs, but it's ultimately up to us whether that's for good or bad, and I think as long as we're attentive and paying attention to it, then I think we'll definitely make the right choice and move in the right direction to make the goals that we're looking for that seem far in the distance now a bit closer than and faster than we would expect them to take to get there. But that's going to be another card down and another day done. 
So that's going to wrap it up for today. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to follow along with the journey as I do this every day. By the way, thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.